How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to transfer your iCloud photos and videos to your computer. And I do say computer because this process is compatible with Mac but also with Windows PC. So no matter what computer you have, I got you covered. On top of that, this process is extremely easy. You don't even need your iPhone or your iPad. We're going to download those photos and videos straight from iCloud just using our computer. It's extremely easy and I bet you're going to love it. So without further ado, let's begin. All right, guys, so the process is very easy. All you got to do is open up your favorite browser. In this video, I'm going to use Safari, but you can use Google Chrome, Firefox, whichever you want. And then you're going to go to iCloud.com, as easy as that. If you have previously signed in to iCloud.com, uh, you probably just need to type in the password or even put your Touch ID. But if you have never done this before, you'll probably see a screen very similar to this one. Let it load. And as you can see, sign in to iCloud and then it will ask you for your Apple ID and your password. So uh, just put your Apple ID that you have signed into your iPhone, your iPad, that you have your photos linked to. So type in your Apple ID and then click on the arrow. And then as you can see, it will ask you for your password. So again, type in your password and then click on the arrow once again. And then if you have to set verification, it'll ask you to confirm. And then as you can see, that's your dashboard. That's how you can access all your information that's in iCloud. Not only your photos, but absolutely everything that you have in iCloud, you can see right here. But in this video, of course, let's focus on the photos and videos. So just click on photos, as you can see right here. So click on photos. And as you can see, all your photos and videos will show up right here on your computer and as you can see i have right here 18,493 photos and if i go ahead and pick up my iphone and open up the photos app you see that i have the exact same number 18,493 i'm not sure you'll be able to see it here because it's pretty small but it's the exact same number guys the same number of videos as well uh 1,819 same story here 1,819, so absolutely perfect. One very important piece of information before we continue is if you follow this process and you open your iCloud photos, but you don't see your photos and videos here, just like I'm seeing, it means that you don't have iCloud photos enabled, which means that all your photos and videos are not in iCloud. They are stored in the internal memory of your iPhone. They are only in the memory of your iPhone, in the internal memory, your iPhone or maybe your iPad. So if that's your case, if you don't have photos and videos in the cloud, just in the internal memory of your iDevice, I do recommend that you follow another process and I'll put a card right there. You can click on this card or in the link in the description. And in this other video of mine that's here on the channel, I teach you how you can transfer your photos and videos from your iPhone or your iPad to your computer. It's a different process, but I got you covered because at the end of the day, you're gonna have your photos and videos in your computer the exact same way, all right? Now, let's move on with this process from iCloud to the computer. And in order to transfer, to download those photos and videos, it's super easy. All you gotta do is click on the photo or the video that you want. You can, of course, download just one or multiple files. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna download multiple photos and videos, all, all you gotta do is click on the Shift key on your keyboard and then go back in time, start going back and see all the photos that you want, all the photos and videos. I'm gonna go all the way to here and then I'm clicking while holding the Shift key. Now I can let go. And as you can see, I have 32 selected, 32 files selected. Of course, you can do this for hundreds, thousands of photos and videos, all right? And then all you gotta do is just click on this little cloud with the arrow pointing down, as you can see here, download selected items. Click there. And then, as you can see, it'll start doing the process. And then it'll ask you if you wanna download those files. All you gotta do is click on allow. And then it'll create a normal download file. It's downloading. And as you can see, it's super fast. Of course, it'll depend a little bit on your internet speed, on how many files you have, but it's generally really fast. Uh, Apple servers are really fast, all right? And then, as you can see, iCloud Photos, it'll create this folder called iCloud Photos automatically. You can click 
uh, to reveal it in your uh, download folder. And then I'm just gonna drag it to the desktop just to make it much easier. And then I'm gonna minimize this. And as you can see here, I can double click on iCloud Photos and all of my photos and videos were just downloaded perfectly in high quality, perfect quality right here. Uh, so photos, videos as well. This is a video, as you guys can see. This is a little video I made on Instagram, but videos work the exact same way. So as you can see, that's it. That's how you transfer, you download your photos and videos from iCloud directly to your computer. Works with Mac, PC, it's free, and you don't even need to download anything. It's all done via the browser. So that's it, and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye-bye.